Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP. We are looking at the Circle Menu widget that is included in the Element Pack by BD Themes for both the free and pro version of Elementor. If you want to know where you can find this, just click on the link in the description below and you will see that these guys are releasing new widgets weekly. And I think, in my opinion, they are probably the developers at the moment with the most widgets that can be added to your Elementor and their customer support is stellar. So they come highly recommended. Let's have a look at the circle menu. And of course, when we talk about menu, we talk about the menu, something like this. But the circle menu is a tad different. And the only way to understand the circle menu is to have a look at it. On the left in the Elementor editor, we go and search for circle and then you will see circle menu pop up here. This is a non-displayable placeholder. So I can drag it anywhere on my page. But if I want to drag it and drop it here, I can do that. So I'm going to drop it there. And you will notice a little circle that appears. And when I hover over it, you see these little other circles coming out. And immediately you get the sense that this is a menu. You can click on these little icons and it will take you to other places within your site or even on your page. Let's have a look at how this works. And I would start by saying you probably don't want it to appear here. You want to appear it somewhere fixed on your page and that will go under layout. Toggle icon position and at the moment it's default, which means it displays where you placed it. I want to maybe add it here in the bottom left hand corner click on default and then bottom, 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 left. And now it will move here. I don't like that. It is too close to my margins. Let's see if I do that. And now I don't even see it. Okay. Let's just update it and see how it looks as a default placement at the bottom left. Yes. And I don't like it. It is too close to my margins. No one is going to see that. And if you're on a tablet, it probably will be very difficult to press there. So you need to play with these two settings called your horizontal offset and your vertical offset. Now the vertical offset left means up. So I'm going to, let's say type in 30 pixels and see, no, yeah, that is 30. So it's minus 30 I want to type and it goes up. So left means up, look at that. Let's bring it down again to minus 30 and then Horizontal offset, right means right. Let's see, yes. So let's also add 30 to that. And update it. Let's go have a look if it is better placed at this moment. Yep, much better. The next problem we encounter is that these submenus are now displaying below our screen. So we have to fix that by going to additional settings and the direction for which those menus should appear should be top right. Let's see top, 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 top right. And then we hover over it and there it goes. One thing that I like to change here is the trigger. At this moment, whenever I hover over it, these menus come out. I am not too fond of that. Um, there was once when I tested and every time my cursor would go over it, it will pop up and it started to annoy me a little bit. So I like to put it on click. That's just my personal preference. Now click and it opens, click and it closes. Let's style it just for interest sake. We've got a, well, an all monochromatic scheme here for Fernando Schmidt. So Fernando, let's give you a little bit of color. And this one is the toggle icon. So for the toggle icon, let's make what background and color. Let's see. Background should be the blue. Let's make it orange and that didn't work. So I guess it's this. Oh, okay. There it is. It's the icon. Let's keep that white. And then for background, there we go. Good. And then I also want to change the circle icons, my background also to orange. Good. It's nice complementing the black of this page. Doesn't look too, Emo for Fernando Schmidt, web designer. 
Now let's see about the content. What can we do with these little icons? And for that, you go to content and over here, you will see what you can add and how you can style it. The first thing you can notice is that for your little circle navigation, you can change your icon. Now you have a plus within a circle or you can even choose a hamburger menu. Let's leave it on the hamburger menu for now. And then over here, you can add your well, sub menus or menus. These you will need to do manually. You're not going to have a styling here that says just enter any menu that you've created. You have to go and set your links by yourself. So over here, if your link is, let's say, begin, what do we have over here? We have contact. I type in contact and it looks for contact. OK. Or what else do we have there? Services. I think those are just custom links I made. Right. So you have to add in your own links over here and your products. Then any ID, you can also add section IDs. Let's go and test that. Always something that you need to first see. If we go here to references, let's see for this section ID. Let's give it a edit section. I got it. OK, section ID is under advanced. Type in references. OK, let's go to our circle menu now. OK, click here, click here. OK, so let's go here for documentation. Call it references. And then here we say references. I didn't references. All right, update. Let's see if our circle menu now. Let's go to the top. Click over here is references and it takes me to the section. Good. And if you want to add more items, you're going to click here on the more items. And it's not adding new ones now. Is five the maximum? No, nope, there we go. Just a little bit slow on adding it. It's thinking. You will notice the more you add, the more this will become crowded. So you will have to consider at some point. Let's just add for the references. We have your references. Contact us. OK. You just have to consider at one point whether this is becoming too much. And then you will have to go and change the setting maybe to something like bottom center. And now if you click on it, you will see oh, <laughs> how many did we create? Oh, good grief. Right. This is quite the style ended <laughs> widget. OK. Right. So be careful. Don't go too overboard with all of that. Even my panel has frozen up on the side now because just too many information. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There is a setting that you can change for this to space them more evenly. But of course, if you are working on a page like this, just stick around to a few. Let's just delete this guy at the moment. He's been a little bit crazy in his head and I just want to add it again. Let's drag it in. Like I said, you can drag it anywhere because we are going to place it where we want bottom center. And now I want just to show you Again, we have to put that at the top. So we put it at top half. And now if you hover over it, you will see it spaces very evenly for the top half. If you just put it at top, you will see it spaced more closer to each other. Let's see if I can make this thing go ballistic again. OK, you see, add one more. One more menu. Now it gets too close to each other. And that's where you are going to use this one top half. It will space it all the way in a semicircle. Right. But of course, I recommend you don't add this many. Four to five is probably the maximum that you should go. A very nice feature that you can add onto your site. And if you go and have a look at how they showed it on their site, these are all fixed positions. Nicely colored. And then the one I had also shown you at the bottom. And if you want to place one somewhere in the middle, you can even do a complete 360 if you have enough of this. This is a circle menu navigation widget by BD Themes for the Element Pack add-on for Elementor.